Now I'm a little late to this topic, but you know what, it's still interesting to speculate about. So in case you aren't aware, SNK recently came out saying that they basically wanted to grab the video game industry by the balls and squeeze them until they burst. I'm paraphrasing of course, but that's basically the gist of it. And backed by piles upon piles of blood money from the MISC Foundation, I suppose we're kind of inclined to believe they could do it. Basically, if a Mitsu or some other fucking Japanese site slash publication do you really care interview with SNK CEO Kenji Matsubara, who has been CEO since July 2021, reveals his intentions for SNK to expand exponentially within the next 10 years with plans to revive dead IPs and work on a bunch of new games in different genres than just fighting games, furthering their Western influence with the ultimate end goal of becoming a top 10 industry developer by the end of it, able to brush shoulders with Big Brother Capcom and all. Which, I mean... Those are certainly some pretty words. Hey SNK, I plan to be a top 10 YouTuber in 10 years, but we all know that shit's not happening. I'll be lucky to have 3k subs by the end of 2023. Hell, I may not even be alive in 10 years. If you've got this secret money waterfall now, maybe you could, you know, speed up production of KOF 15 season 2 so there isn't a 4 month wait between single entries. How do you explain KOF 15 CGI cutscenes looking way worse than ones produced when apparently your company was on the brink of death? Matchmaking, 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 matchmaking! <sighs> Sorry. No, this video isn't going to be one where I whine like an entitled little shitcock about SNK the whole time. Instead, I just wanted to discuss these plans of becoming big swinging industry dicks, and what it means for the company, and most important, what games we could get out of it. First of all, the interview specifically mentions Fatal Fury as a dormant IP that SNK is looking to rejuvenate. Yeah, there's still Garo 2 on the way, of course, but SNK's plans for the series don't end with that, and they're interested in exploring the action-adventure or RPG genres with the franchise. And you know, good, it's about time. Hashtag Terry Bogart sweep everybody. But what else could we see? I often see people throwing around the idea of a Yakuza style art of fighting game and yeah, it works for me. I should make it like the fucking Warriors game on PS2. You hear about Soho? Me and Snow must have labeled a hundred of them fucking clowns. Bunch of chicken shits. Don't get yourself wrecked out there. I ain't gonna be around to bail your ass out. Fucking Sanchez. I didn't even have to touch that wimp and he jumps off the roof. What a pussy. I already talked about this in my Psycho Soldier video a little, but I think that's definitely an IP SNK might have their eyes on. From a platformer to a side-scroller to a weird fixed camera RPG thingy, it's a franchise that pretty much works no matter how you spin it, and I think there's a variety of ways they could do some real cool shit with it. I mentioned that I think a Metroidvania Psycho Soldier game would be sick and right down my alley, but I'd be open to whatever they come up with as long as it's fun. Could make it, I don't know, Devil May Cry meets Idol Master. It'd definitely be goofy, and as long as they play into that with confidence, I totally think it could work. Next on the docket is Ikari Warriors, another super obvious IP to revive. SNK mentions how it wants to create triple-A video games in their interview, and putting aside my, uh, <coughs> curiosity as to whether or not SNK could make a triple-A game, other than Fatal Fury, Ikari Warriors seems like a damn good candidate for one. With the industry still recovering from the 7th gen oversaturation of army shooter games, they'd have to put some sort of unique spin on this game to have it stand out, but I'm sure they could manage it. Hell, having female protagonists in Leona and Whip could probably do the job alone. You could make it a prequel game where Ralph O'Glock is sent to Leona's birth village to retrieve her with Haydn, or make a game tied to KOF and elaborate on Rugal or Nest stuff. Maybe have the team hunting down hidden Nest's remnant spaces like they do in the KOF 14 manga. Again, they could probably do whatever they wanted and make it work. The Ikari Warriors are a flexible cast. I mean, you wouldn't even be limited to just the Ikaris. Maybe this hypothetical game could have another campaign that focuses on Team K-Dash and their hijinks on the run. Would be nice considering they have bugger all to do in KOF's story nowadays. Another thing I think would be neat if we got like, Samurai Shadow and our Last Blade spin-offs that could be like hacking slash adventure games with like, super epic stories or something. This is really only the tip of the iceberg. SNK has a shitload of old properties that it could reinvent. Maybe do something with Top Hunter or Magician Lord or King of Monsters or, or, or fucking Neo Turf Masters. Obviously not all of these would be big budget games, but they could make for some excellent smaller scale titles if done right. And these ideas aren't even really just limited to the IPs themselves. KOF is fit to burst with a ton of characters who could realistically thrive in games with different genres. You have all these secret agents or detective characters, maybe do something with them? Imagine a game where you control Blue Mary doing a freelance detective stuff. That'd be sick, right? Red Dead Redemption Rick Stroud, Sunset Overdrive but Isla, Guitar Hero but CYS, Senran Kagura but Mai. Obviously I'm just pulling shit on my ass at this point, but I'm just trying to point out that a bunch of these characters don't need to be restricted to just fighting games or just KOF. That being said, at the end of the day, I would hope SNK still recognises that fighting games built the company, and are the reason they're still alive so they should remain a focus even while they branch out. 
Of course, on top of all this, SNK is probably planning to create some brand new IPs, but that's not very fun to speculate about because they could end up being literally anything. This is all I can really squeeze out of my brain, but I'm very curious to hear what you guys think. You think SNK might be blowing smoke about all this talk of becoming a top 10 developer? What ideas do you have for potential IP revivals? Let me know in the comments, I'm genuinely interested in discussing this. Anyway, that's all I got, see you guys next time. Hey Toots, those are some great moves. You want to get it on?